And so I done it, spoken aloud, invited her. What of that vow made in church, fidelity, virtue, all of that? Couldn't think of that now. Next afternoon, I waited in a fever. Would she come? I had no idea. And if she did, how would I behave? Was I actually going to seduce a young wife of two months standing? Part of me, much of me, wanted it badly. Yes, badly was the word for it. There she was. On the stroke, she'd come. She'd come. Grazie. Grazie tante. Via. Via, via, via. Signora. Excellency. Benvenuta. Grazie. Well, you have come. I should not have done. My husband would be frantic if he knew. He's a very jealous man. Are you a jealous woman? Why do you ask? It's not a passion, I understand. You are looking even prettier than you were last night, if I may say so. Uh, Ta, very much. <laughs> I've brought you some manuscripts by Wolfgang. When you see them, I think you'll understand how ripe he is for a royal appointment. Will you look at them, please, while I wait? You mean now? Yes. I must take them back with me or he'll miss them otherwise. He doesn't make copies. These are all the originals. Sit down. Let me offer you something special. What's that? Capezzoli de Veneri. Nipples of Venus. Roman chestnuts in brandied sugar. No, thank you. Oh, do try. My cook made them especially for you. Me? Yes. <laughs> They're quite rare. Well, then I'd better, hadn't I? Just one. Tall, very much. <laughs> They're delish. Aren't they? <laughs> Have another. Oh, <laughs> I couldn't possibly. <laughs> I think you're the most generous girl in the world. Generous? It's my word for you. I, I thought last night that Constanza is altogether too stiff a name for that girl. I shall rechristen her Generosa, La Generosa. And I'll write a glorious song under that title, and she'll sing it just for me. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm much out of practice, sir. <laughs> La Generosa. Don't tell me it's going to prove inaccurate my name for you. What name do you give your wife, Excellency? I am not an Excellency. And I call my wife Signora Salieri. If I named her anything else, it would be La Statua. <laughs> She's a very upright lady. Is she here now? I'd like to meet her. Oh, alas, no. At the moment, she's away visiting her mother in Verona. <sighs> Oh, Constanza. Tomorrow evening I dine with the Emperor. One word from me recommending your husband as the instructor to Princess Elizabeth, and that invaluable post is his. Believe me, when I speak to His Majesty in matters musical, no one contradicts me. I believe you. Baby. Surely service of that sort deserves a little recompense in return. How little? 
the size of a kiss? Just one. If one seems fair to you. Does it? <clears throat> I fancy that's fairness enough. A pity. Somewhat small pay to secure a post every musician in Vienna is hoping for. What do you mean? Is it not clear? No, not at all. Another pity. A thousand pities. <laughs> I don't believe it. I just don't believe it. What? What you just said. What did I say? I said nothing. <laughs> I'm going. I'm getting Constanza. out. Let me pass, please. Constanza, please listen to me. I am a clumsy man. You think me sophisticated. I'm not at all. Take a true look. I've no cunning. I live on ink and sweetmeats. I never see women at all. When I met you last night, I envied Mozart from the depths of my soul. And out of that envy came stupid thoughts. For one silly second, I dared imagine that out of the vast store you obviously possess, you might spare me one coin of tenderness your rich husband does not need, and inspire me also. <laughs> I amuse. Mozart was right. You're wicked. He said that? All Italians are performers, he said. Be very careful of that one, meaning you. Oh, he was being comic, of course. Yes. But not that comic, actually. I mean, you're playing a pretty obvious role, aren't you, dear? A small town boy, and all the time is clever as cutlets. <clears throat> you're sulking, are you? <laughs> when Mozart sulks, I smack his body. He rather likes it. Would you like me to scold you and smack your body, too? How dare you! You silly common girl! Forgive me. Let us confine our discussion to your husband. He is a brilliant keyboard player, no question. However, the Princess Elizabeth requires an instructor in vocal music. I am not convinced he is the man for the job. I would like to look at the pieces that you have brought and decide if he is mature enough. I will study them overnight and you will study my proposal. Not to be vague, that is the price. Good afternoon. <laughs> 